I'm at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. In a part of the park, the public doesn't get to go. And I'm wearing these special pads over my pants because today we're out looking for snakes. Jeff Lem is gearing up for his daily hike. It's not for exercise, it's for research. Right here. It seems like Lem has spent his whole life wandering the hills behind the safari park looking for snakes. Oh man, I've been at the zoo for, I'm kind of scared to say. So I've been in research a little over 30 years, but the zoo was my first job when I was 16. Lem fell in love with snakes, especially rattlesnakes. It's a feeling that hasn't gone away. I'm hiking with hundreds of rattlesnakes a year. I've never been bit, I've never even come close. So if you know how to act around a rattlesnake, you're not gonna get hurt. Because Lem knows so much, he was the perfect researcher to team up with scientists at San Diego State University for a new project. They're wrangling red diamond rattlesnakes and attaching these small devices. It will give unprecedented 24 seven data on where snakes go and what they do. Information that is otherwise impossible to get because snakes know how to avoid people. These snakes are able to hide so well. There's one just about four feet in front of us here. And if Jeff didn't have his radio equipment, we would have had no idea that she was there. Even this close, they're hard to see. If you haven't spotted it yet, those white specks in the middle of your screen are the snake's bands. They're mysterious. We, we just don't know enough about them. Um, but you're changing we're very much trying to change that. We need to learn about these animals so we can help conserve them. Lem says rattlesnakes are critical for San Diego's ecosystem. They help control the rodent population, therefore preventing the spread of disease. And they themselves are hunted by other predators. It's all part of the food chain. And understanding the rattlesnakes better will help the government better understand how to protect them. At the Safari Park, Jeff Lasky, ABC 10 News.